Hey folks, uh, it's the Deacon. I've got a new lesson for you today. It's uh, based around a blues scale that I use a lot. Uh, I'm going to call it um, a Dorian blues scale, or the Dorian blues scale, because it uses a minor third and a major sixth, which is kind of a Dorian sound. So let me show it to you. The way I find the position for this scale is based on the root note, whatever key we're in. Today we're going to be playing in the key of A, and so I'm going to find an A on the second string, which is right here on the 10th fret. So this scale for me, it's just it's a tiny little scale, just three strings, but this scale is based on root note second string. So I find whatever my root note is on the second string, and I'm going to go down a string to the third string and down a fret. And that's the lowest note in the scale. So let me show you this pattern. I'm going third string, ninth fret, and then third string, eleventh fret, second string, tenth fret, second string, twelfth fret, second string, thirteenth fret, uh, first string, tenth fret, and first string, twelfth fret. And that's the whole scale. So I'm just going to play up and down a few times so you can see. Uh, which fingers I'm using. So there's our Dorian Blue scale. Um, this scale for me, you know, a lot of times when I'm teaching my students this scale, I call it the BB King Blue scale because. I uh, I kind of most closely associate it with his kind of playing. It sounds like him to me. He kind of improvises in that vein a lot, but a lot of other people use it. Eric Clapton and Dwayne Allman and, uh, you know, tons of other people, I'm sure. So uh, it's not just a B.B. King thing, but it sounds like him to me, so I kind of call it that. Um, let me show you a couple of licks that I use, and these will all be tabbed out uh, on the lesson page, probably right underneath this video that you're watching. Um, so here's a few licks that I, I kind of use for it. And then I'll do some improvising so you can see kind of how it works. So the first one, you can just do this two note. If you get your vibrato going really good, that's a great lick. Or you can slide in. Uh, if I'm playing over a blues and I'm on the one chord, I'm going to bend this note up a whole step to the major third. I'm on the four chord, I'm just going to bend it up a half step. So those outline those chords, the one chord, or the four chord, um, there's a couple of other notes in the scale that I use, there's a blue note right here, that might sound a little bizarre out of context, but if you use it right, in fact, there's a, there's a lick that I use with that note a whole lot. Let's see if I can play it. Yeah, I like to use that lick a lot, so... And then there's also the major third back one fret right here. It's the same note we bent up to on the one chord, but it happens there too. So there's a Dwayne Allman lick that I play a lot. He use, he kind of backs up and uses that note sometimes. And then you can bend this note up. So there's the scale, um, you know, practice playing straight up and down the scale and getting some vibrato happening on that root note. Let me improvise a little for you so you can see kind of how I would uh, play this scale in a real musical situation. I'm going to start with a little groove in A.
some playing with that scale I, I, you can see I moved out of position and did a few other things but mainly sticking right there in that BB King blues scale so enjoy it hope you get a lot of uh, mileage out of it and we will see you next time